Good morning guys. It's a beautiful bright day and the temperatures is going to be in the 80s so a lot better than yesterday. Yesterday in the end we really ended up with a great downpour so yeah things have changed today. Anyway I want to give a great big welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you so much. I appreciate it and I am so glad that you are here. Anyway, we will get down to business here in just a minute. Okay guys, so yesterday uh, I was wanting french fries bad from the night before and uh, so me and hubby went to a restaurant that serves both Chinese food and hamburgers and stuff. I mean they've got a pretty good um, choice of food considering that they're just a small establishment with two workers. And so I got myself a double cheeseburger with bacon and french fries and a big red. And it was delicious. It was so delicious. It hit the spot. Now I'm one of those, I like my hamburgers with mayonnaise and ketchup. I just think that is an awesome twist. And so um, I was so very satisfied that it, it was so good. It hit the spot. And then we went to an ice cream parlor and I got me chocolate and strawberry cheesecake. Mmm, yeah, so very good, so very good. And, um, you know, I was satisfied for the rest of the day. I was very happy about it. And um, then later on, you know, um, it wasn't necessarily that I was hungry, just I was. I guess you could say I was needing or I just gave in one and honestly at that time I didn't care to give in I did not care any other time I live with guilt if I give in but this time I didn't care I didn't have a problem about it so I made myself homemade onion dip which just consists of cream cheese and ranch dressing you wouldn't believe how close it comes to tasting like French onion dip. Anyway, I'd done that and I had a bag of my veggie straws and it was very satisfying and that was good. So, um, once again, I didn't have a problem with it yesterday. I just didn't care. I just did not care and I didn't have any guilt. And so, you know, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I really am. And Ray and myself this morning, I came in at 183.5, three ounces down. Now, honestly, I am fine with that. Would I had lost more? Hard to tell. Um, but honestly, you know, it doesn't bother me one bit not today not today yesterday I felt very confident and comfortable about eating again last night and it was just around 6 30 or so when I did so but anyway you know the one thing that um, Kayla from six miles to supper had said when she had started doing intermittent fasting and OMAD 
she was easy on herself. She didn't make intermittent fasting hard. She said that until she ate, she would either suck on a mint or chew gum because she said that she needed something to chomp on, you know. And um, when it came time for her cycle, she needed chocolate, she got herself chocolate. She said she didn't make it hard on herself to do the intermittent fasting. And how she put it, it made me feel better about how I feel sometimes when I'm intermittent fasting. Because as she said, people has a tendency to make it hard. And I, I commented to her that I'm very hard on myself. And so she helped me a whole lot with that video. A whole lot. And, you know, I'm still going to be hard on myself. I'm still going to try to make myself be patient and wait until my feeding window. But I'm not going to make intermittent fasting hard for myself. I'm going to make sure that my body utilizes the fat for the energy, but I'm not going to make it hard on myself. And I think that's the reason why last night I just, I didn't feel bad about eating the veggie straws with my homemade dip. Because I was thinking about what Kayla said. And the simple fact that I had just had a hamburger, fries, and double scoop ice cream, you know, that wasn't very much for the day anyway. Whether or not it was fast food or homemade food or whatever, I can still lose weight eating out and stuff and just like this morning you know I did even if it was three ounces that's still something and the fact that my measurements are still good they're not up my measurements are still good they're still dropping so I'm doing myself all right but I'm going to keep a check on myself because like anybody else in their past who has had a problem with binging and overeating on a meal and gaining weight I've got to keep a check on myself plain and simple but I'm not going to make it hard on myself I'm just going to keep a check on myself which it makes a big difference if I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing if I'm losing focus if I'm not if I'm not noticing things and I'm just haphazardly all this weight loss for these eight months will be for naught and I don't want it to come to that I have a vision of seeing my original body again and I'm going to keep pushing forward to that vision and you know as I had I had seen 180 a few times so that means you know that there's good things around the bend. All, in all I've got to do is just stay focused and make sure to stick with that. So, you will be seeing me tomorrow with another journey vlog. I love each and every one of you so very much. Have a great day.